Hi, my name is April Fournier. I'm also known as Jumpy McGee. I'm the head of community outreach and a skater athlete with Maine Roller Derby. I'm reaching out to you today with a very important and very special request. Our league, Maine Roller Derby, is a 501c3 nonprofit business out of Portland, Maine. We are a skater owned and operated and the largest league in the state. We're currently working towards a forever home to ensure that we can continue to grow and develop our league and our sport for generations to come. This is what we're doing, but I want to share with you why I do this and why sports have saved my life more than once. As a child with different um, racial traits growing up, um, I often had a difficult time with friends, um, especially growing up in Maine, which is the whitest state in the U.S. Um, kids teased me, teachers weren't always nice, and I got in a lot of fights in elementary and middle school. My parents signed me up for softball, uh, and my mom bought me a pair of roller skates at a yard sale um, and brought me to the rink every weekend. Her hope was that by getting out all of this energy, I might stop getting into trouble and straighten up my act. Moms are always smarter than us, um, and she was right. I was included when I played softball and when I went to the rink. I had fun. Um, I belonged to a team. Sports definitely saved me. Um, in 1993, my parents moved us from Portland, Maine to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Talk about a culture shock. I went from beautiful seasons, oceans, snow, and trees to desert. I missed my friends. I missed my family. I missed my life. There were no accessible sports, and the only rink um, that was there was an hour away. Things got bad after that. I started drinking, smoking, and using I skipped school, I got in fights, I scared people away, I self-injured, I was reckless, and then I got kicked out of high school halfway through my freshman year. Um, after that, my parents saw how bad things had become and sent me to rehab. Rehab at 15, not a very promising start. <clears throat> when you have no options, it gives you a lot of time to think. After about six months, I was released with very <laughs> strict um, rules and allowed to go back to public school as a sophomore. My mom, remember she's the smart one, got in touch with a local, our local um, junior varsity softball coach and she agreed to let me on the team with some very strict rules and oversight. She took me under her wing and helped me on the road to recovery. She was and is a special education teacher, so she was used to students with unique needs. I thrived thanks to her, and we're still friends to this day. Um, junior year, I moved to varsity. Senior year, I was all city. Sports saved me again. Flash forward to now. I'm so incredibly blessed with the life that I have. I have four beautiful children, a man who is so precious to me and treats me like a queen. I have an education. I'm currently working on my graduate degree in special education, early intervention studies. I have a job that I love. It's not all sunshine and roses though. In 2010, our youngest son was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. It's not curable. We will probably have to provide support for him for the rest of our lives. <clears throat> the breakthroughs are so wonderful. The dark times are very dark and it takes its toll. And then I found roller derby, a place where I can be strong physically, but I have an entire army of athletes who can be strong for me when I can't be strong anymore. This is my second family. This is my team. And again, sports have saved my life. There are many others, probably all of the others in our league, who have similar and equally valuable stories. The sport that we do, there's just something about it that is empowering, liberating, and just awesome. We can't let that go away, and we won't, but we need help. We're currently under contract to purchase our forever home. We've applied for grants, completed letter writing campaigns, and talked to businesses. We're casting as many nets as possible to make this happen for all of us. Today, I'm asking for your financial support in whatever way possible to help us make this a reality. 
Sports saved my life more than once. I want to have the opportunity to pay that forward and do that for someone else. Thank you so much for listening. Jumpy McGee signing off.